Hey guys, I'm getting my membrane sweep today. This is the first step before we do induction because it's big, okay? Like, belly, 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 belly. <laughs> so I'm just take y'all with me. Okay. Oh, our baby looks amazing. Wonderful. So we're looking for that up and down. Baby looks great. Um, okay. So let's kind of talk about membrane sweep. So membrane sweep, if we decide to do a membrane sweep, one, you have to be open, which they already told me you were. Um, so risk of a membrane sweep. So how the membrane sweep work is, works is this, like you have a membrane, right? And it sits next to your cervix. I loosen the membranes that attach it to the cervix. Okay. Um, almost like it's kind of like cellophane, all right, and kind of like, or like a saran wrap, and I kind of break it apart, and your body generates its own hormones in the next couple of days to send you into labor if it's going to work. Okay. Okay, but everything, every intervention comes with a little bit of a risk. So one is bleeding, right, because okay. I'm manipulating your cervix. You're, you might have some spotting today that should turn brown and go away. Okay. Okay, it keeps, contractions keep coming, you have bright red bleeding, you go to the hospital for that. Okay. Um, there is a small risk, because it's like saran wrap, that I could weaken the bag that is around the baby, okay, and the water could break and the contractions not come right away. Okay, after a certain period of time, and we discussed that, if the contractions had it come, there's a risk of infection with that. In general, just doing an exam, there's a small risk of infection, okay? So benefits, your body naturally goes into labor on its own, okay? Minimal intervention that we have to go forth with an induction. So, and inductions come with their own risk, right? We've right. talked about that already. So, um, but that's the benefit of letting your body. Now, this wouldn't be the only thing I'd like you to do. You'd monitor the baby's movements after I do it. The baby should move a certain period of time in two hours, 10 times in two hours, okay? okay? So you'd monitor that. Maybe have a little sex tonight. Okay, and that'd be the last thing you do before you go to bed. Okay, so the sperm could sit next to your cervix. Okay. If it's going to work, probably by Thursday morning, maybe. Okay. If it doesn't work, it's okay, too. You come back and see me because you're getting induced on Wednesday, yes. right? Um, and we would see, I'd want to see you back either probably Monday afternoon. Okay. So you'd make an appointment. I know I'm going to see you later this week to do another NST, but Monday afternoons we can talk about the things. Okay. As, the, as we go further post-date, remember that placenta, just like your heart, doesn't stay around forever. So monitoring the baby's movements, the risk about going after your due date is that the placenta can decide to be older and stop working, supporting the baby. But that's why we're doing this. And the baby looks right. amazing the way that I would expect. There's accelerations and variability. This is what I expect on a baby that a placenta is still doing what it needs to. Okay. Okay? Okay. All right. Okay, so consenting to having your membrane sweep today. Yes. Okay. All right. So knee, knees up and out. It's going to hurt. It should be a little bit, it's probably going to be a little bit uncomfortable, like a, a little bit more aggressive vaginal exam. Okay. So when they checked you last week, you're one a little bit more aggressive vaginal exam. Okay. Okay? All right. Bring your bottom down towards me. Bring your bottom down just a little bit more towards me. Okay, and then just let those knees fall all the way open. And I heard you were already one centimeter, right? That's great. One less you gotta do. How big was first baby? Um, six pounds. Oh, 14 ounces. Just let me know if you want me to stop. Okay, so the cervix is still a little bit behind the baby's head, and it can also be the way you're sitting. So the hand that has the one, I'm gonna bring your head down just a little bit. Okay. The hand that has this in it, can you make a fist? And put it under your back like this. Okay. Let, I'll, I'll let, let this go for a second. Okay. Yeah, just make a fist. Uh -huh. Yeah, to bring that cervix forward just a little bit. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. You're a nice two centimeters. That's two less you gotta do. So really the 
baby's kind of sitting at very anterior, so I want you to think about doing those kind of tucks in. So when you're on the ball, when you're on your ball, you want to think about, instead of just like rocking back and forth, it's a very strategic, like, like hip movement. Okay. Not just like I'm going to rock back and forth, like I'm totally moving my hips a certain way. So head here. And the baby's getting lower. Do you feel more pressure with that? Yes. Okay. So some deeper squats and some, some up and kind of in pressure. Okay. So gentle, some like pelvic tilt, some gentle up and in to kind of help that baby do some rotation. I think we just need a little bit of rotation here. And how big was first baby again? Six pounds and 14 ounces. It's going to be a little bit bigger. <laughs> I can tell. Yeah. Um, same dad. Yes. Okay. This is gonna be a little bit of bigger. This baby's bigger. I don't think very much bigger, but bigger. Maybe seven and a half. I'm gonna go with seven and a half. Just a little bit bigger and try to figure. So, you okay? Yeah, Mr. Jeff. Hey, but two. That's one more. I'm positive about this. I'm happy about this. Yeah, hey, I'm happy too. Yes. So two. You are still a little thick, but that's all right. We're making our way and soft. So all the things. Making a way from You are mad. <laughs> okay. Um, we can take you off the monitor too. So maybe looks great. Monitoring the movements. Remember, a little spotting, some cramping today is going to be a little normal too. Okay. You feel like your water's broken? Put a pad on. Mark the time. Rather your things, head to the hospital. Okay. It's red or green if the water breaks. That's quickly put a pad on, quickly head to the hospital. Okay. Monitoring red babies. Or green. Red or green, yes. Okay. okay. If it's like dark but, red or brown. Anything but clear. Okay. To the hospital. Okay. Okay. So if it's clear, put a pad on, monitor the movements, get your stuff together, try to be there within like 20, 30 minutes. Okay. okay? But if it's red or green, Daddy, I'll just get you things. You can go back later and get you. We want to make check on baby, okay? Okay. All right. Okay, my friend. All right. All you're going to do is finish growing this human. Okay. Go do your, your stuff. Your your friend that's the doula, tell her that the baby's sitting anteriorly. Okay. And then I gave you some, like, hip tucks to do okay. and, like, a lift and tuck and ask her for some advice, too. Just tell her the baby's just kind of in a little bit of a higher position trying to rotate around. Okay. Okay. Okay, and not watch for labor. That's the biggest thing. Patience is the intervention that we have the hardest time doing. Patience. Patience. Oh no, I'm patiently waiting. Oh, Trust me. but this baby is definitely a little bit bigger than the last baby. I'm going. I'm definitely going seven five. Seven five. Yeah, that's not so much bigger. It's a half a pound. It's not so much. Man. He was big to me. Shucks. I know My your little body. Little. Yep, you're little. So okay, all right, a whole human. All right, baby looks great. Great. You were having a few little contractions, just a little. I know, I feel like I was having some last night, actually. A little bit. Okay, so things are happening. I mean, you're two. What's that for? I get to keep it? No, I'm going to put it in your chart. Oh, okay. You can keep it in your chart. No, that's great. It'll be there anytime you want it. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be in your chart anytime you want it. You can pull it up. I love souvenir. Yeah, you can pull it up anytime if you want it, okay? Okay. All right, my friend. Thank you. Okay, you can put your bottoms on. If you have any other questions, let me know. All right, okay, thank you. Daddy, take her out on a date. Make her feel loved. Look, I'll just, I'll just ask her. It's the same hormone that sends you into labor. Oh, it's the gosh. same one that makes you feel loved. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. There you have it. It actually kind of was, was painful. Wait. So when we left the office, I ended up going to get some... Food, I was hungry. We had to drop some stuff off at Goodwill and things like that as well. So uh, we made it home. It was around like three or four o'clock. I ate and then I went to sleep. Um, I do feel like I have been experiencing some contractions. Um, but as I was getting in the shower tonight, you know, I used the restroom and I was wiping and I saw that my mucus plug came out. I'm literally finna get in the shower right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. In my last pregnancy, I didn't have that experience because I just was induced. So seeing what that looked like was like, okay, 
be go time anytime now. <laughs> like I said, I've been feeling contractions and I did not feel that in the first pregnancy either. So I'm really excited. My bag is not packed, but everything is there. I have literally a few more items that are coming in um, the mail tomorrow that I ordered from Amazon. So I'm hoping that baby could just wait just a little bit longer before he makes his grand exit. I mean, obviously, if not, I still could just come get it. But just having my bag already packed just make everything better. I don't have to worry about anything. I have like two or three outfits for him to come home in. And so I just, you know, I want to have it there. But yeah, that's the update for now. Yeah, so if anything changes, I will keep you guys updated. But it's just a waiting game right now. And I must say, I am just so enthused and excited. I actually have kind of stopped communicating with anything outside just to keep my mind aligned and focused on what I have going on. Um, haven't really been on social media and really don't want to be on social media. I feel like God has been telling me that it's just time to really like let go of social media um, in the way of just like scrolling and things like that I don't think that it's for me at least right now in my life um and it's time to just restructure how I utilize it so I mean that's another conversation for another day but yeah so I guess I will be seeing you guys soon or later whatever <laughs>